Good day YouTube and welcome to a brand new edition of Triple Chips Unbox the Box where today we're just currently doing some bathroom renovations but what we're going to be focusing on I picked up this Luxway Lunis Flush Mount Light got this from Costco it's $27.99 it's got 1700 lumens the fusion of power and elegance what they claim on this is it only takes 24 watts, but it's going to be equal to 100 watts. It's got a five-year warranty on it. And you see up here, it's good for 50,000 hours, so this is going to last you for years. It's, I think I figured this out before on a TV. It, you'd have to run it pretty well. I'll leave the stats, but I think it works out too. Unless you left this light on for 24 hours a day, it would be kind of equivalent to about eight years. So you're not going to leave this light on for eight years. So it's basically going to last most of your life. But I'll, I'll show you in the details what it actually works out to on an average. So we just took off the old light already. So what you're going to need for it is either a, one of these. A drill with the bit in it. But I don't really suggest it. I just use it because some of the screws are hard to get out. But just a typical screwdriver will work. That's about all you're going to need for tools. So what we're going to do first is I'll show you what you get in the box here. Let's move this ladder over for now. So what you get in the box here is that's just to keep it dry, I think. You can get some new mounting hardware. A couple bolts and a couple screws and a couple of the wire connectors. You got your instructions. And then on the back of your light, this is simply just going to pan out. So you get take this right off and then you'll put your light up after. I just want to put this mounting plate up. So just remember it's going to go this way to the ceiling. Because it's going to have to lock into this. So that's what we're dealing with right there. So first things first. Take a quick look at the instructions. Sure, I got all my hardware. Yeah, this looks pretty straightforward. So, the two screws are going to be to actually screw this to the ceiling. So, let's get installing this. First thing you want to do before you do any installation, make sure your power is off. I've already done that and checked it. So this is completely safe. I'm just going to take out these old screws here because these are probably the wrong length. Get those out. Those are going to be our wires that we're going to connect on because they're kind of short. But through there. Catch it. That one's really short. Let me take this back off for a second again. This is an old house, so you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just gonna adjust these a little bit. Try and get them in the center there. And we're just going to install our two new screws in there, our bolts. This open. So, the type of screwdriver it is, it's just a Phillips on your screws that go on the ceiling. And your other mounting hardware is a Phillips also, so. I'll just do them, two of them by hand first though. I'll just set this stuff up on top of the mirror for now. Probably looks like it's the easiest if I just put these in there first. Just want to thread these in. My shirt keeps showing my belly. 
elbows in. Just get them kind of started. And then tighten them up after once you get your plate up. Except you gotta make sure your mounting plate's down with the tab should be towards the floor. You want to run your two wires through there. And then simply just find where your screws are located. So I got one there. I got the other one there. So you just want to adjust it over. Just they got a hole there, and then there's a little slot. Let's move it over to the slot and just tighten your screw up. I always thought I used the ratcheting part there. Just once it gets snug enough, it's the light's not overly heavy, so I'm just going to fasten this one into the roof. Okay. And what you get included too is a couple screws. It's simply just going to into the ceiling. I'm going to have to kind of push on a screwdriver just to get it going. That's why I don't suggest using the drill because you might strip them out too quick. I just gotta look the screw fell behind here, but I'll be right back with you. Well, I found the other screw. I'm just installing the last one in here. Get this up there. And unless you got something in the way, it doesn't matter which way this plate, because you're never gonna see it. What you want to do next is just take out these old caps. But most important, make sure you get the power off. So we got our positive and negative. Good rule of thumb, just with your wires here. Just give them a little twist so all these wires are all nice and tight. Hey, that's good enough like that. Do that to both. They're just simply just going to connect the wires here. It comes with two little electrical caps right here. We're just going to use those. Pardon the mess in here. Just 
some construction underway so what you want to just simply do is tougher to do it but just put them as close as you can together like that and you just take your little cap and just keep turning and it twists the wires together with the net cap One done. I just don't know, just light a hole without me holding it. So that one's gonna be a little more awkward to do. I'll be right back with you in here in a minute. I'm just gonna need a hand here. So okay, I just had to have a hand there because my ground is so short. But now we got it all on there. You're just gonna want to line this up with your your end pieces. I might be able to shove these caps. Probably best if you can shove these back inside there. Well, it's kind of tight with this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not. Because he might bind up on this. I don't know how tight this is going to go. Or it might not. There's enough of a space here. We'll just see if it'll actually... side. Huh. A little trickier than I thought. So I bend those wires. Maybe if I can get one side. I don't feel where these ones are. The difficult part is getting this part done. So I've got lined up there, lined up there, and then just turn it. Nope. Nope, we're not catching that. against the ceiling yeah that's it perfect it's done so now for the final test we'll throw the power back on and we'll be right back okay so we got the power back on now it's time for the ultimate test see how it works cross your fingers there we go that's pretty good lighting here Oh, and the other thing I might have forgot to say, make sure you got a step ladder or something or assistant because it's just hard unless you're really tall. So that about wraps it up for this edition of Unbox the Box. I might be actually even posting this on my adventure channel, I don't know yet, but you'll find it on one or the other. If you don't watch Unbox the Box, check out Triple Chip Adventure Vlogs. I sometimes do DIY stuff on that too. But until next time... Have yourself a great day. This has been Triple Chip. Catch you in the next one.